this section, we look at the path or trajectory of a projectile, and we also determine its range. There's a bit of algebra coming up, so take it slowly and don't be reluctant to pause or to play bits again. It's always a good idea to do the algebra yourself on a piece of paper. Remember, doing is much better than watching. Let's start with our general equations for constant acceleration. As usual, we neglect air resistance and set AX equals zero. Let's also make the projectile start from the origin so we have X zero equals zero and Y zero equals zero. For projectiles, we set AY equals minus G. So our equations for X and Y motion are X equals VX zero T and y equals vy0t minus a half gt squared. That's two equations, but we want the trajectory y of x, so we can rearrange equation 1 to eliminate t. Substitute for t in 2 gives this equation for y as a function of x. We can write it like this to make it clear that y is a quadratic function of x. y of x is a parabola. Let's be clear, what is y of x? y is the height above the launch point and x is the horizontal displacement from the launch. So the curve y of x is the path in space. It is the trajectory followed by the projectile and that trajectory is a parabola. Let's look closely at the terms <laughs> in this quiz. 